Hello darlings, how lovely to join us here today. We filmed this a couple of weeks ago and I really thought you might enjoy it. Bert loves flying his drone. This we'd filmed the day that we went to the old mill when Bert had crashed his drone. This church here was built by a marvellous man called John Egan. He had a marble cross out the front erected in, in memory of what he did here in beautiful, beautiful Egan'stown, just about seven kilometres out of Dalesford, near Melbourne. He was an Irish man and an excellent colonist. He was very generous to all the local people, giving them lots of money and helping them with work. And he actually built this church. And we were very lucky because we got to go into the church. We never expected that. It was a real surprise. So watch to the end to see what it was like inside. Please leave me a comment as to whether or not you like this. It's always hard to try and get people to like things. Well, Lucy and I basically just walked around. We just had lots of fun. It was freezing cold, as it always is down here in winter. Lucy just loved running around and playing with the ball. But as you can imagine, I won't let her off the lead because I'm too worried she'll bolt. So <laughs> I was very cautious with her. It's amazing when you think about what these people did when they started out here, coming out from Ireland and England and wherever they came. And you just picture all the people that have come here in the different eras for the mourning of their loved ones. The graves are immaculately kept and I have found out that a gentleman comes over quite regularly and checks out how is everything going. The church is freshly painted, maintained, and the grounds, they're just a picture. They really are. So how have you all been? I hope you're looking after yourself and keeping your mental health going. It's hard to get out sometimes. The weather can really take us for a ride, whether it's cold or whether it's hot. I always take food with us wherever we go. Always conscious of sugar levels being diabetic, such a pill. I felt very safe here with Lucy because it was all fenced off. But would you believe it, she still did a bolt on us? And of course it was when Bert was watching her, not me. We thought we'd have her completely worn out by the end of this trip. But she still had plenty of energy when we got home. She slept in the car, of course. It's hard to decide where to sit. But I have Mum's waterproof blanket that I put down. And the water doesn't come up, so it's all good. So my dizzy spells are still come and go. I think it is really something that's not going to go. It just depends what I do, how fast I walk, if I turn my head. It's such a pill. But I'm grateful because it could have been a lot worse. There was a grave in here that had cactuses planted all over it. Very natural looking grave. I show a photo of it. Beautiful. Well, I said to the lady, would you mind if I took a piece of cactus? And I pinched a piece of cactus off the grave and came home. Do you know I did not sleep that night? I felt so guilty. 
All I heard was my mum. You never take anything from a graveyard. Now that goes back to when we went to Thunderbolt's grave, when we were travelling up, travelling in Australia in the early, well, no, the late 1960s. And no, actually it was in the early 70s, sorry. And mum was bringing us down for a holiday. And we went to see Thunderbolt's grave and Greg took a stone off it. And we were driving off and that was all good. And mum said, Greg said to me, oh, look, look at this stone because I've always loved stones. And he said, look at this stone, Tam, I got it off Thunderbolt's grave. I said, what? And mum heard him and she goes, she puts on the brakes. Gregory, you didn't pick up a stone and bring it out of the cemetery. And of course he did. Well, she did a whole U-turn and we went back and put the stone back on the cemetery. On his grave. So that really came to mind. And the next day, Bert and I took the piece out. Actually, it was two pieces. And planted them back in on the top of her grave. Her name was Joanna. And she must have been a lovely lady who loved nature because she's got a very, very natural grave. I love the old Anzac graves like this one here that's got the rising sun on it and the cross. My grandfather's got that rising sun on his grave. Thanks to me. Checking out and tracing back and having it put on because he's rightly entitled to it. It's funny, the old people never talked about the war years. They hated them so much. They didn't want acknowledgement of them. But I'm proud of what he did. I felt a lot safer here with Bert with the drone because he could just fly it without worrying about it bumping into trees and such. It was lovely. There was a seat there that had been donated by somebody in memory of someone. I always think that's lovely. There's something very sobering about a graveyard, isn't there? But there's something so peaceful about them too. This graveyard I've wanted to have a look at for many, many years. And when we used to drive past with the children, and they were small, they would always hold their breath when they went past a cemetery for quite a long time. Um, <laughs> and it, it always comes back whenever we drive past this one. And I was so pleased that this day we decided to pull in because you do get nervous going into cemeteries. I mean, people can be very funny about it. I was just amazed at how well maintained that church was. It was just so beautiful and inside all the statues were meticulous. They had the 14 stations of the cross, all beautiful. Bert got some photos but we didn't feel right taking too many photos because there was a man in there with us, I prayed with him and he got quite emotional. The so we're sitting down having our cuppa and a man pulled up in a car, of course, his name was Peter, and he let us go in the church. And the church is magnificent inside. Who would have known? It's so beautiful. I feel really close to God out here. The sun's shining where it was Bizzle in Ballarat. It's really beautiful out here. What do you think, Bert? How have That's you lovely. enjoyed it so far? Can I have a cup of coffee, a biscuit, and we're playing ball with a little Lucy. He's got his favourite biscuits. Oh, what are they called? Nice, no. nice. N I C E. Actually, niece biscuits. Niece biscuits. Whereas Tam's got her apple. Yeah, good old Tam. So it's very humbling to come out here and walk around, around the graves because, in the end, it's where we all end up, isn't it? Yep. Whether you're cremated or whether you're buried, it's where you all end up. But they're so peaceful and Lucy can just run around. She's thoroughly enjoying herself. So, 
I really, really hope that you enjoyed coming along with us today. What do you think, Bert? Yeah, I hope so too. I'll even put the crash the video on. Yes, we'll put the crash in. Hi, Ahiranta and Jose, and hi to Julie. Hello, darling. Hi to Judith. Hi, Judith. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Angela. Who have I forgotten? Anna Marie. Oh, I've got so many lovely followers. Please don't feel offended if I've forgotten you. I absolutely love knowing who you are. I'm thinking of doing a live video and I'd like to know if any of you would like me to do that. With Bert. I think the nicest videos I do are with my other half. And please excuse if this is a little bit jumpy and the sound's not real good because I don't have a mic and we're on a highway and I'm holding the camera freehand. And playing ball. And throwing the ball. But anyway, let's say God bless, take care, have a lovely week, wherever you are in the world, and look after yourself first, because that's the most important thing. Hi to my beautiful sister, Debbie. Look after, the, after yourself, Deb. Look after yourself first. Lots of love from Tammy and Tiaras and Bert with drones. Bye. I just want to say to people out there, if they're feeling stressed, go and sit in a cemetery because there's something calming about all the people around you. Get out of the house, go to a cemetery, it'll cheer you up. There's something you can learn from your dog. Chase what you really want to get. Lucy always wants the ball. It's the one thing that makes her completely happy. She's got a problem with her leg. She'll be in pain after this and we'll have to give her pain relief. But she will not stop until she drops. And she'll be a limpy Lucy. So this lady has a beautiful grave. Joanna Andrews. Please, Joanna, can I have a few pieces of your cactuses? I promise that I will think of you whenever I see them fly.